Hey guys, what's up? I'm Jess from OB Baseball Blogs. I'm here with Cleveland Indians prospect Nick Hagedon. Nick, what's going on, man? Not too much. Just uh, good to be here. Uh, thank you so much for coming on the show. We really much appreciate it. Um, my partner Richard is not here today. Um, he's going to be on the show later on. Um, but thank you so much for coming on. I really much appreciate this, man. Yeah, no problem. All right. Um, we're all wondering uh, where do you clock at? Um, this spring training. That's really impressive. I had actually never met somebody who can pitch 97 so far. Um, that's really impressive, actually. Um, how do you like baseball so far? Um, who took you under your wing, and um, what player in the Cleveland Indians have taken you under their wing? Um, I mean, really, no. Not, there's not been one specific player that, that has done that, but, I mean, just you know that there's always, there's always veterans that you can look towards to, if you have questions about how to do something that everyone that you can go to that will tell you, you know, when you're doing things right or wrong. Yeah. Um, so have you who have you met that you who are you are really close with in the majors? In the majors? Um, not not really close with anyone yet. I've only been in the league camp for three weeks, so it's really not not enough time to become close with anyone. Uh um I apologize. Um you are the number, at the end, of, I think it was the 08 season, uh, Baseball America announced that you were the number three prospect for the Boston Red Sox. How did you feel about that? I mean, it's a great honor when, when Baseball America or a, a, a company like that names you uh, that I have a prospect, but that's, one, that's something that I really try not to pay too much attention to, only because if you, if you, if you look at that kind of stuff too much, it gets you distracted and takes away from the main focus which should be on your performance and how you can get better every day. Yeah. Um, I have actually saw your name on the list. I was like, man, I really want to know how well this guy pitches. And um, I was really impressed. I saw some film on you. I was like, wow, man, I, I'm really impressed with your work and everything. So I, I really appreciate you taking this time to do this interview. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's no problem. Um, what, are you th what are your main pitches? Um, I throw three pitches, mostly fastball and slider, and then I'll also throw three because they're going to well. What do you say is your most dominant pitch? Can you, uh, can you say that again? What do you, what are you, cons like, what is your dominated pitch? What pitch do you think that gets you out of innings mostly? Oh, um, definitely my fastball. I mean, that's, that's my go-to pitch, um, basically in any situation, but my best possible pitch is, is my slider. Um, I can I use it to both lefties and righties, and then um, yeah, my third pitch is my changeup. But I'm I'm working on that every day to to make to try to make it better and more consistent too. Yeah. Um. Two more questions left. Um. What went through your mind when you were traded to Cleveland with Justin Masterson for Victor Martinez? I mean, the first thing was it's just a huge surprise. It was just I was in the clubhouse with um, my team in Greenville. And the manager called me into his office and told me that I, I had just been traded to the Indians that met at my flight leaves tomorrow. And, uh, I mean, you know, at first it's a, it's a big honor, you know, that you've just been traded for a, uh, a big-time player like Victor Martinez. So it's really exciting. Yeah, I mean, I grew up idolizing Victor Martinez when he played for Cleveland, but I hope I hope you make the majors this year, man. I, I hope you really do. And Thank you. I'll be, uh, I'll be doing my best. You will succeed. I, I guarantee it. You will. I have faith on you. Um, and to final this, just to final this up, um, any advice to any future college players on pitching at all? Well, basically, the the one thing I can say is that if you work hard enough, anything can happen. You know, when I first got to college, I wasn't wasn't anything anything special. You know, I I wasn't that good in high school, and I was lucky enough to get the opportunity to go to the University of Washington and while I was there I basically used every single day to try to get better and that's what I still try to do now but you know if you just work hard enough things will happen for you. Yeah well that sums it up for you guys that is Nick Hagedon he's the prospect pitcher for the Cleveland Indians. Nick thank you so much for coming on man. Alright thank you. Alright thank you man.
Well, that was Nick Cagadone, um, really nice pitcher. Um, he was traded from the Boston Red Sox. He was actually drafted by Boston, and then he was traded at, at the deadline for Victor Martinez, I think it was. Um, prior to the 2009 trade deadline, Cagadone was traded with Justin Madison and Brian Price to the Cleveland Indians a while. The Boston Red Sox received catcher slash first baseman Victor Martinez. After the 2010 season, Hagedon was added to the Indians 40-man roster to protect him from the Rule 5 draft. So this guy, I really, I'm really impressed with him. I saw some footage on him before we did this interview. Really impressed with this guy. Um, I hope he's going to be on the show in the future. So everybody give their best wishes out to him. And I really much appreciate his time. Thank you, Nick. And I'll talk to you guys soon. I'm Justin. Enjoy your weekend. It's baseball season. Let's all hope Nick, Nick, Nick makes it to the majors. I'll talk to you guys soon.